here at the Aprilia South Africa because we heard about a really exciting initiative they're launching on the back of the Binder Brothers success in racing. And uh, before I go and spoil it, let me introduce you to Sean, whose brainchild this project is. Sean, tell us about what you're up to. Dietmar, firstly, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, so yeah, essentially we started Africa GP Academy just recently. Um, and Africa GP Academy has been a brainchild of mine for a few years now. Uh, okay. And just as the stars align and how things happen in the universe, that uh, it's the year that the Binder boys start winning in MotoGP, Brad winning in, in Renault, and then uh, Brad, uh, Darren to go on to win in Catalonia. It just kind of amplifies what we're trying to do. And essentially what we are trying to do is we're trying to bridge the gap from local racing in South Africa or in Africa to international racing overseas being in Europe and also America. Oh, that's fast, fantastic timing, you know how it works out, because yeah. for the youngsters they have a local hero to look up to, so it's even more in, inspiring for them to follow that route. And um, what bikes, where, what bikes are they going to be using? Or okay. how so um, once again, just how things happen and how the universe intends for things to be. So uh, Aprilia recently launched the RS250 SP and right. the GP bike, which is a bike made by Ovale, which is an Italian company. So they make this bike as a uh, prototype. So it's not a production standard production bike that has been modified into a race bike. It's a race bike built up from the ground up to be a race bike. So it's got a RS2, RS125 uh, frame, which they then throw an RS250 motor in, and they've gone inspected to be a literally a detuned Moto3 bike. All right, to so, prepare them for Moto3. 100%. Yeah. So, so essentially what the academy is going to do is going to help us to put the kids in Italy racing in the Italian championship. So the Africa GP Academy will be running next year in 2021. It'll be running in the South African circuits. And the idea is that the top three riders will get automatic entry into a wild card ride into Italy, into the RS250 uh, Cup, which is essentially where a lot of the Italian scouts are busy looking for new talent and, and a little bit of different nationalities where they can. Okay, cool. So, but uh, from what age do you want to catch these? So kids? essentially, the the academy and and even here in South Africa, we're going to run it very similar to how they run it in Italy. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're not going to try and get clever. We're just going to run it. What's working is going to work here. So they start from the ages of eleven and up. They haven't really put an uh, age gap to or an uh, age cap to it to to see yeah. how old you can be. Yeah. You don't really want to be John McPhee. Uh, at 27, riding yeah. a Moto3 bike, I, I can yeah. promise you that much. But yeah. uh, but it works for him, so great. But uh, so for us, we're, we're aiming from anywhere from 12 up until about 17, 18, 19 years old. Also depending on the on the rider's weight. Unfortunately, yeah. power to weight ratio does weight, come into play. Weight, height, so size. we we're kind of trying to find someone that's young, talented, light, but a little bit more mature in the thinking. So your target would be between 16 and 18 to get them overseas. Preferably 14, maybe 14 to 18. That young? That young. I remember Marco Melandri first uh, came to prominence at age 13 yeah. in the 125s, yeah. 100%. Really young, um, yeah. And, and if you look back at, at, at uh, Brad's career, he was already overseas racing in, in, in the UK at the age of 14. So How old was he in the Rookie Cup? In the Rookie Cup, uh, could have actually been 14 already then. Correct, yeah. He would have uh, already been about the age of 14 already. Oh, right. and, and essentially what you need to understand is um, with the international level of, of competition, if you get in too late, you're already on the back foot. Yeah. Get in early, learn early, young, have the time to unfortunately say it, but fall off and learn your lessons, learn your mistakes and improve on them. Uh, so by the time that you're 17, 18 years old and you get onto the main stage, you have yeah. a little bit of maturity behind you. And, and what was really exciting for me is that uh, you were explaining that you're looking after the bikes as Aprilia South Africa, all the bikes are standard, but you're also giving rider as well as Technical side? Yes, yeah, so, so, so it's, a, it's a full academy. It's and, like a holistic uh, approach. 100%. So essentially when, when we sat down as a team and, and, I, and I brought this idea forward, which I thought was just a pipeline dream and would never come to fruition, um, essentially I said to them, listen, there, there's a few elements of racing that people don't always understand and people don't always see when they're watching someone race on TV. And one of those being rider coaching, okay, being yeah. taught what to do, how to do and when to do. Secondly, technical coach. Okay? Yeah understanding what the bike is doing underneath you and how to interpret that to make yourself go faster. Help them to, uh, set the bike up to suit their 100%. particular riding style, not to follow somebody else. 100% spot on. So yeah. a lot of riders have got their own unique style and they've got their own way of riding, which feels yeah. comfortable for them. Yeah. And the bike needs to be adapted according to that particular rider. Yeah. So the technical coach will be overseeing that and will be helping the youngsters understand that, interpret that data into something more analytical, where they can actually then look at it and say, you know what, this is where I'm strong, this is where I'm weak. And then the rider coach comes into play and helps the rider then understand, okay, 
bike can do so much, now you need to take it a bit further as the rider. Mm -hmm. Then to take it a step further, we also have a fitness coach, okay, and a dietitian mm -hmm. to make sure that the rider is always in top nick and make yeah. sure that they're performing. And then a one more step further, just because we can, social media coach. Social media has become a huge thing in racing nowadays, yeah. and essentially that's where all the sponsors are looking. They're looking for return of investment, and they're making sure that their yeah. brand and their company is not being brought into disrepute. So we need to make sure that we yeah. teach the kids on how to present themselves on social media and how to talk in front of a camera. You have to sell yourself to attract sponsors. 100%. You, know. you can have yeah. all the talents in the world, but if you've got no personality and you've got nothing yeah. that, no charisma, Unfortunately, yeah. um, it's not going to get you. You have well. to sell their brand, so 100%. it's a win-win situation. Now, awesome, and and the whole concept is uh, like a feel of you. You like a works rider because you bring the bikes to the track, you take them back, you look after them. Yeah. So it's 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 really like a prestige yeah. and a holistic approach that. Essentially that. We, we want to keep it to the level where, where they know that it's more professional than just a hobby. Yep. Uh, so we will bring the bikes to the track, there will be a professional setup. Uh, we'll have some fantastic tools. I know a good guy that's going to look after us on some tools. And we'll have these guys that are really, really technical minded to make these kids go as fast as they possibly can with a rider coach involved. And then also what we're trying to do is eliminate checkbook racing. And yes. cheating. No, super because important, one of the challenges we face in South Africa yeah. is that we'll have a youngster that will be coming up through the ranks and, and uh, will have a little bit of backing financially, will win and then go overseas and unfortunately will not be able to pull the same tricks that they pull in South Africa yeah. and unfortunately don't even feature. Our um, checkbook in our currency doesn't work. Checkbook racing, yeah. Check yeah. racing doesn't work once you go onto the international stage, unfortunately. So we try to keep it a level playing field and hence the reason we're strictly adhering to the, the rules that ICLEI has set out for us uh, right. because it's going to be run the exact same way. Yeah. So essentially what we want to do is be in a position that if a youngster has qualified to go race in Italy, take the fairings off here in South Africa with your sponsors on, go overseas, put your fairings on and guess what you're riding in the exact same motorbike with the same tyres, same setup, essentially what you what you ride in South Fantastic. Africa. Sounds, sounds awesome, the whole project sounds phenomenal and when are you looking to start the racing you mentioned something tying up with nationals or which so we're still in talks we we have originally uh, spoken to world of motorcycles racing series uh, the ex monocle racing series and they have been very very hospitality to us and they said listen we've got a, a class for you uh, you don't even need a, a full grid uh, so they're going to slot us into the 300 class um, we are also in talks with with uh, msa to perhaps look at going a national route um, and make it the prestige uh, national championship. So that, that's still early talks right now. We're going to see how that goes out. But essentially, we will be racing by uh, January, February next year. Sounds awesome. And we're definitely going to follow you. Thank you. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Because if you look, that's how the Italians and uh, Spanish do it. In Moto3 and Moto2, it's really becoming the Italian and Spanish Cups. But now with uh, the Binders doing so well and uh, the youngsters being inspired and with such an awesome uh, initiative like this, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to click like and subscribe. Follow us on Route 21 because we will be following this very closely and seeing where the new talent comes from.